actually, because I am a sugar from, I've got lots of extra stringencies when it comes to non-Jewish music. Like obviously, I never listen to women singing. I never listen to songs with swearing in. I never listen to bread during Pesach. <laughs> you know, I'm really strict. I wouldn't listen to hot chocolate before I'd found out if they were made with supervised milk. <laughs> and even then, I wait a full six hours after listening to meatless. <laughs> I wouldn't listen to red hot chili peppers or smashing pumpkins before thoroughly inspecting them for bugs. I only listen to the Sex Pistols for two weeks out of every month. And even then, I insist on referring to them as the Marital Relations Pistols. What can I say? I'm a sugar from. I wouldn't listen to The Doors before putting up a mezuzah. The Doors, of course, famous for the song Come On Baby, Light My Fire. But of course, on Shabbos, they could only hint. <laughs> so it became, come on, baby, it would be nice if I had a lit fire. <laughs> what a shame I forgot to light one myself already. <laughs> and as you can probably tell, I did used to really be into music. And in fact, when I became from, I did consider that maybe I could produce some kosher versions of all the bands that I used to like. Like, I used to like the Beatles. Ariel, you a fan of the Beatles? Yeah? I think everyone's a fan of the Beatles, aren't they? Yeah. I love the Beatles. And when I became from, I did toy with forming a Hasidic tribute band, the Fab Fabrengen, <laughs> with songs like, I don't want to hold your hand. <laughs> I didn't see her standing there. <laughs> And of course, the Bells are favourite. Baby, you can't drive my car. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone who had both payers and a mop-top haircut. So. <laughs> it's a shame. They would have been good. You say shalom, and I say shalom. Shalom, shalom. I don't know why you say shalom. I say shalom. 